Welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to talk about resistivity, conductance, and conductivity, an interesting aspect in electricity. So we are still at the basis. This is the episode two of our applied electricity course. So resistivity, conductance, and conductivity. What are we talking about? First, resistivity, it gives you an idea of something like resistance, right? Conductivity and conductance also gives you an idea of what? Conductance, something that conducts. So let's dive deep. Let's look at resistivity. So the resistivity of a material is the resistance of the material of unit length having a unit cross-sectional area. Are you okay? So any material, if we want to know the resistivity of the material, we are going to consider how does this material, let's look at, say this is a material, how does this material give resistance to electrical what energy or electrons per unit length? So this is per unit length. One, let's say one centimeter and per unit cross sectional area. So our area, let's say one centimeter square. So when we consider a one centimeter length and a one centimeter square unit area of this wire, how the resistance, how much resistance does this wire give to electrical energy or electrons? Are we okay? That ability is the resistivity of the material. I hope it's clear. The ability of this wire, a one centimeter wire, a one centimeter square area wire, to resist or to offer resistance to electrons, the measure of that resistance gives it resistivity or gives it the ability to what? resist electrical energy so this is the resistivity of any material are you okay now the resistance of a wire depends on its length its area the type of, of material the purity and hardness of the material and even the operating temperature are you okay so we are to measure the resistivity and we are saying it is the resistance offered to electrical energy or electrons and we are saying that for a wire or any material to resist electrical charges or the resistance offered by this wire depends on the length that's why we consider the unit length so that we can interpolate to know for a longer length it also depends on the area that's why we're also taking a unit area so that if we know that the resistance of this wire for one unit area is this then if it is two it will be that are we okay the type of material use and the purity the hardness of the material they all affect the resistance of a wire are we okay so this this resistivity formula we can mathematically say that the resistance the resistance of a wire is proportional to a unit length and per a unit area are you okay which we are going to say the resistance is because of this proportional sign we are going to introduce a constant called rho on our area are we okay so the resistance offered by a wire is equal to rho length and the area where this constant rho is what we call our resistivity. Is the resistivity. Are you okay? So this rho is the resistivity of the material, the ability or the measure of the resistance offered by the material. Are we okay? And we can see that the unit for the resistance is ohm meter ohm meter or the unit for the resistivity is 
ohm meter. Are you okay? Ohm meter is very interesting for the resistivity. So with this, we have in mind that yes, wires are going to offer some resistance to the electrical current or the electrons as they move through it. Are you okay? And the measure of this resistance is what we call the resistivity of the material. Every material has its resistivity and it is going to be different from one material towards the other. Are we okay? Very interesting. Now, conductance. We now know about resistivity, the resistance of it. Let's look at the conductance. Conductance is the reciprocal of resistance and it is denoted by G. So when we find the reciprocal of the resistance, the R that we saw in the previous slide, it gives us the conductance. You know what comes in mind when you say conductance, the ability to conduct. It is defined as the inducement offered by the conductor to the flow of what? Current. It helps the conductance of a material. We are talking about the ease at which a material is able to let charges or electricity or current to flow through it. That is the conductance that we are talking about. If it is resistance, it is opposing it. If it is conductance, it is now helping it to what? To flow easily. Are we okay? That's why we are saying the conductance is inverse to the resistance. So mathematically, we are going to say G is inverse to, it is inverse to the resistance. Are we okay? This is it. It is inverse to that. And its unit is the same N denoted by S. Are we good? Very simple. Very, very simple. So here we also, we can do some mathematics here and we can also say G, which is equal to because we know that R is real L. This is not P, the real on the area. So we can also say this is one on real, the length and area, which is equal to, can we say area on real L. This is for the conductance G. Are we okay? Alright, so let's look at the conductivity. Conductivity. You know, conductivity is coming from the conductance, which is also still the reciprocal of resistivity. Conductance is the reciprocal of resistance. And it is very interesting. Let's get something straight here. Conductance. Conductance. So conductance is reciprocal of, look at the name, resistance. And here, conductivity. Conductivity is also the reciprocal of what? Resistivity. Activity. So know the difference. Are we okay? The conductance or the resistance is here, is R. And the resistivity, that's what, real. So here we are saying the conductivity is the reciprocal of the resistivity. So that is, let's say conductivity is also denoted by G, and that is going to be 1 over real, where this real is the resistivity of the material. As we measure the resistivity of a material, we can also measure the conductivity of the material, which is the measure of the ability of a material to conduct what? Electricity. So let's see if this is true, that G is also one on that. From the resistance, or from the formula we saw, G is equal to one on R, and which was equal to one on real on A. This was further A on real L. Are we okay? So here we are going to, this is the same as one on real, 
multiplying e on l where our one on rho is our conductivity so this is the representation of our conductivity so this is the symbol for conductivity conductivity so then we can also say conductance which is denoted by g is equal to conductivity multiplying what area on length very simple are we okay so this symbol represents the conductivity of the material i hope you understand so we talked about resistivity conductance and conductivity this is very simple it shouldn't be confusing conductivity the ability of a material to conduct resistivity the ability of a material to resist what conduction of what electricity thank you for watching this episode it was a very simple one Check out for the next episode. Let's look at some catch off current law and some calculations. Thank you. Please share the video, subscribe to the channel, like and comment. It is very important. Thank you.